Welcome back to Maros Films. Before we move on on the battery test that I prepared for you, I have also a giveaway at the end of the video of this great freewheel case. And the pop-up video of this great case review will pop up right now. I would also apologize that I'm not making so much YouTube videos the last days and last weeks because I'm editing videos and stuff for other companies and also I have my wedding season filming and editing. So I'm apologizing for not making more YouTube videos. Yeah. Hmm. And I got also a Rode Video Micro that I'm using it right now with the Deathcat. And I will be making a comparison and review of this Rode Micro and my old Tuxter ACG 598. So stay tuned. And I got some Godox great video lights that I'm using for my event cover filming. And they are really great for my kit lens when I'm filming in low light. After that I got the GitHub 2 Pro Cam. And thanks Banggood for that, there will be a review of this cam very soon. As I got the third battery for the Mavic Pro, I made a promise to test when I would have more flights on it. So now when I got the third new one, I can make the test with three batteries. The older one have approximately 130 flights, the second one 50 flights and the third new one one flight. The flights are all made indoors with the same conditions with a 30 minutes delay from each flight to let the motors cool down. You will be really surprised with the result. So let's jump straight in. So there you go, the newest battery that has only one flight has less charge than the older one that has about 50 flights. Hmm, very interesting. I'm really impressed that the 130 flights of the battery that came with my Mavic has almost the power of the new one that has only one flight. So concluding, there is a slight difference in battery power and even new batteries can have less juice than the older ones. I didn't have any particular care over older batteries, just regular charges and discharges, even draining them down to 3 to 2%. And the second one outperforms the new one for a minute and a half. That's a pretty good amount of time if your Mavic is in return to home mode. That could mean life over death for your Mavic. So have in mind that you can expect different flight times even in the same exact test. I would really love to hear from you guys in the comments what do you think about this problem. Or is it a problem? And finally the giveaway. I'm giving away this freewheel hard case. And the review of this case will pop up right now. And is designed for the Mavic Pro combo package. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram to level the chances of winning and also putting a comment down will help you to win this case. The giveaway will end up the 25th of August and after that I will announce the winner in the description of this video. That's all for now, fly safe, enjoy the summer and I'm also getting on a trip with my wife so I will be some days off and I am taking my Mavic and my Lumix cam with us so there will be maybe a travel video. Thanks for watching.